Hey all this and all this, this is the Legion comes with an all this episode 2. Yeah, of course that was gonna happen, part 8 was gonna be too long. And that was used like 15 minutes 34 seconds there, part 8. But if she did that means the part 10 is gonna be too long as well, you know. Actually, let's not be near where another person is. That person probably made it so that I got issues, you know, and stuff like that. Now they never catch me. <laughs> I don't run away from it. And I always have the feel the feeling of super mega paranoid like her 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 these guys got glitches are happening because someone is watching my computer skip some dumb Swedish person who is sitting there. <laughs> I'm a liberal asshole and I hate everything and did 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 because liberals is peace, love and understanding. Yet liberals want to destroy the world, yet liberals are the ones that are actually Nazis. Ho oh, ho, the liberals in Sweden, the social democrats, they wanted to give Hitler the Nobel, Nobel Peace Prize. Ho oh, oh, oh. And they want to, and they, cast, and they castrated people, people who had certain sicknesses way back in the day, just because, you know, you know, they sterilized people who were dumb, basic, or people that they... They did some kind of stupid test, and then if you were classified as a retard, then they basically made so you couldn't, you know, they, they sterilized you pretty much, you know. So yeah, that was, you know, <laughs> great times, you know. Oh, but liberals of peace, love and understanding, they don't want to do anything bad. Oh, a oh, wicked terrorist attack happens. Oh, and then they ask the head of state in Sweden about the terrorist attack that happened. Oh, I don't think there's a serious discussion. Dun dun. Yeah. You know, fucking stupid. Uh, fucking stupid pancakes. Oh man, but anyway, so yeah. So that's how you're not that good. You know, I think what you normally take here is. I mean, this can be good if like people are grouped up and stuff like that. But I believe it's she wave what you normally would take because it can bounce several times. It doesn't deal a lot of damage, but it deals a certain amount of healing and it bounces up to seven times, which I mean is pretty nice in in raids and like it's only a 15 second cooldown. This is a third second, so I think normally she wave is the thing you think. But I mean, like if you're soloing, then you're not getting as much use from. Stuff like that, so yeah. Actually, let's just be moving out on the island while we actually record and stuff that, you know. Instead, you know. Like, let's just do things that way. I think we can go any further here, though. Oh, hey, Lobox, who is there? Alright, and you can read about the things here. Blah, 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 it's a staff. No, Pandora like to write things. I like to poop. <laughs> I like to poop on things. Oh, her you not. And I'm gonna Actually, where did you... Yeah, because you can't exit over here. Alright, you have to... Uh, wait, how the fuck did I reach that yesterday? Oh yeah, yeah, you go right here and then you can go around here and stuff that. That's how you can do things, yes. So at the first tier, I don't think you're not that good. Shiva is normally better, but the thing is if you're, if you're single targeting, then I think you seems better because she wave doesn't deal that much damage. And like she burst. She burst can of course deal more damage and stuff that. And you're healing to the monk and the allies in his path. That doesn't also heal the monk, that only heals, you know, like. So you can self heal with she burst. This can be pretty nice, but I feel like I have a target, like the thing is you're gonna be target bombing quite a lot, so that I have to target actually can I add up. At the level 30 tier, we I like to choose she torpedo because that's just seems to always be the better choice. Uh, to be this for a long distance and increase your movement speed by 30% for 10 seconds seconds two times you can get higher movement speed but what you normally want to do is you almost want to let the timer run out on it so like when you see the pedo you want to make sure it almost runs out and then you see the pedo again to get the maximum usage out of it 
and it has a 20 second recharge. The thing is, when you have roll, it has a worse recharge, and the roll doesn't go as far as Cheetopedo does. But of course, that makes it so that Cheetopedo can sometimes be a problem because sometimes you move too far, and then you know <laughs> you end up going off platforms and stuff like that. So yeah, so that it can be good in certain situations because, like, yes, you have a more roll charge. Yes. And it reduces the cooldown, but even with the cooldown here, if you see here, the cooldown is 15 seconds, so it's actually shorter than what what the Cetopedo is, and you get and you get three charges, so you can go quite a distance. Like if you take here, for example, I'm going to use all the three charges now here. Where we're here, then let's say we're here, we're at this thing here. You know, I'm going to use that as a landmark. So let's go one, two. Three. So I got this far. We got this far from that. So quite a bit of distance we got. Now let's change back into Cetopedo. And we have to wait for the charges of course on the Cetopedo here. And this is where we started basically pretty much. Here at the very, very edge of it. So yeah, it might have been a bit more forward but I'm going to show you how much longer you can get on that. And of course you often often after the rolls or after whatever you do you add a flying serpent kick after but i'm gonna show you here so there's one charge now <laughs> i'm gonna wait for two charges you can see how of course it's not fair to compare it because you know the distance is different uh, like because i would then have to only use two after one another instead but i'm gonna do like the you know so you can see just one brings you there and then you want to wait here until you almost run out for three two one then use the other one and now you have a 60 percent movement speed increase so that you can go really really far with as long as this last so you can almost get to there but of course that's not a fair comparison like because uh, the thing is i didn't do that when i did rolls so what we're gonna go do now is we're gonna go back there again, and we're just gonna do we're just gonna do the two the two cetopedos just after one another, and see if that actually goes longer than the three rolls, because I mean if two cetopedos goes longer than the thing in order, it's really, really bad. So okay, so let's place our stuff here, kind of, so we don't go into stuff. Okay, so one, two. Kind of goes about the same distance, I would say, almost. But then, of course, you can also add this to it. <laughs> and yeah, with the flying second kick, you can go really, really far. But often it feels used that it's better to cheat Peter because of the movement speed you get. Because you want to wait until this with like one second left. Like, so you have 30% speed for nine seconds, and then you use the other thing. Vulnerable Shaman, what the fuck? What is this about? Oh right, because it's an ode to that player, the double agent guy. Wait, what? That was not a real couple, all right. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, yeah, these are not real. It is a bit silly though. <laughs> I actually... When the heck did I add that? I forgot that I actually added an NPC for him. That's actually pretty cool, you know, that you can see that, you know, that's pretty dope. But yeah, so she's a pretty really, really good. Celerity, not as good. I mean, it, it seems like maybe it goes slightly further, but the thing is you can just cover a longer distance with she's I guess last, however, has a 20 yard range, it has such a cool land and it increases a, that means that you still keep your roll if you have that and increases a friendly target's movement speed by 70% for 6 seconds and removes all roots and snares that's of course actually really really good in pvp but it, you cannot affect yourself with it on a friendly target but it, I mean it's good it would be good in raid situations if there are actually roots and snares in a boss fight Although I think there aren't any boss fights currently that has roots or snares, or there might be, I don't know. 
you know, because the thing is like roots and snares, like a lot of classes do have ways to deal with it, you know, with roots and snares, you know, so yeah, that's something, you know, to keep in mind. And uh, yeah, because uh, you have to verify your account and stuff like that and blah, 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 and all that stuff. So yes, so now we have all of those uploaded. All of those are uploaded now. So it's only like because they were going on clips here. So it's like part one, part two, three, four. We did five parts yesterday, five. And then it's six, seven, nine. <laughs> because two of the parts didn't become a thing, you know. And the reason why I use that one is I'm gonna use that thumbnail for all the ones that has to do with the paladin class, pretty much. I should have actually used the. Uh, one for one I did the shaman videos and stuff there, so yes. Anyway, next up here is... Is the 45 talents. Yeah, I did log out, right? Yeah, I did. I did log it out. Oh, yeah, I'm going yet. You know, gotta get the exercise, you know, in the exercise room. Get the exercise <laughs> That's the best type of exercise. Poly, anyway. I mean, what? Yeah, Ascension is a passive, it's a 45, increase your maximum C by 1, and you generate by 10%. Pretty, pretty simple. It kind of works in a good way, so to speak. But what the hell? Alright, that's right, because that doesn't lead into. Uh, into something, you know, it's like, yeah. When does it activate the uh, thing? Anniversary? Or oh, 10 in the morning, okay. Hmm. I would want to be that almost to see what it is, you know. Have they said what it's gonna be? I don't know, but yeah. Yeah, I remember taming one of these tigers. At one point I tried to see how long you could stay, like they were on, on a Hunter I made on, on a server once, I remember I made like a uh, Pandaren Hunter at one point and I got her to t level 20 or so before leaving the starting zone. And actually in the starting zone things can actually drop, like green items can actually drop and stuff like that and you can grind the tigers with a pretty, pretty high point, but yeah. I wonder if this takes place after, like of course this obviously takes place after the starting zone. So certain things shouldn't be here. So yeah, this is when the wound has been healed. But you still have Doc and the horrors around here and Doc and Terrors they are still kinda here. And the Alliance encampment is kinda still there. You know, it's a bit cool, you know, to check what's like around here. You can see the encampment is still there. After the Alliance, <laughs> they just left it there like, you know. Of course, the wound is healed here, as you can see, it's not like, you know... And this is the toidal, you know, that the person did something with, but yeah. So yes. Um, so yeah. Normally what I believe is always really... Oh, wait, they've changed that. I don't think this is what power stacks used to do. Or maybe it always did. But power stacks is a passive. Every 15 seconds your next target palm. And that's one additional chi. But of course it's... But it does generate 2 chi already. So you generate 3 chi from it. And that's good. But then you don't have a side of a maximum chi. It's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 chi is the limit when you have ascension. So when you go with power stack, you will only have 5 chi, but then this will give you 3 chi. <coughs> but I mean, that means that you use two target palms and you basically... Because it doesn't go up to 6. I wonder what the ring gives. I don't think the ring makes it so that you can have both ascension and power strike. I don't think that was what the ring gave. I forgot what the ring actually gave. Where is the ring? Uh, sort of gun master, it gives you she orbit. Yeah, she orbit is actually pretty good to be honest, but yeah, so it gives you she she orbit pretty much, but yeah. So, power strike, 
I don't know how decent that is, but again, the problem is that that would mean that Black Power Stack would then generate three she and as I said, when it only goes up to that, it's too bad. I have to stop.